You never know. You never know when you're going to be in this situation where you've got to save a life. Some believe coffee is a lifesaver. Maybe you're one of them. But one afternoon, a Little Rock Starbucks worker gave that a whole new meaning. KRK4's Rebecca Jeffrey talked with the manager at Starbucks who helped save a man's life after overdosing in a parking lot, Rebecca. Yeah, good evening, Ashley. The use of opioids is rampant here in Arkansas and across the country. And for one Starbucks employee, that this epidemic has hit home and now work. Her first and middle name is Araya Sunshine. But for a man whose life she helped save, she's a ray of hope. It's where millions of people go to get their daily caffeine fix. But outside this Starbucks off Cantrell in Little Rock is where a different addiction took a lethal turn. You never know. You never know when you're going to be in this situation where you've got to save a life. Minutes before her shift was over, Araya Harrison was alerted to a situation outside. This guy comes in and he says that someone OD'd in our parking lot. She looked outside, couldn't find anyone, and headed back inside. A few minutes later, she saw a guy carrying another man from around the bushes over to the sidewalk. They sat him just right here. On the phone with 911, a customer started CPR and Araya took over the chest compressions until the fire department arrived. They gave him Narcan and oxygen and whenever he was able to come to, he said that he'd overdosed on heroin. According to the Arkansas Drug Director, there have been 142 documented Narcan saves in the state since the Naloxone project began less than two years ago. This isn't something that's necessarily foreign to me. It's happened to one of her own family members. I was about 11. Um, she'd taken an entire bottle of pills and um, I walked in and I had to call 911 then as well. In this case, she has no idea who the man was. Hoping that one day I see him and he's different. And thanks to Araya, the man in the parking lot, whoever he is, lived to see another day. Araya said she thinks more establishments should consider keeping Narcan on hand just in case a similar situation happens. She says she doesn't know the two customers who helped her with this man, but if it's you, there's free coffee waiting for you. Ashley.